Hi guys, uh, sorry I've not been around for quite a while actually, I haven't done a video for, for ages, I've been been abroad travelling and uh, just, just come back and want to get back into it again. I've um, got an Acer, Acer Aspire 5 here which does not charge, it does power on, uh, and that's that's okay but no response from the charger. So I think the first thing to do is let's let's see if the, uh, the charger is working. So I've already plugged it into the wall. And uh, let's see what we can get out of it. Let's swap the range out on my uh, multimeter. And let's see what we get. So, the charger seems to be working fine. Uh, if I move this about a little bit, no drop in voltage. So I'm happy, just happy that the charger's working. So, or not happy because it would have been an easy job if it wasn't. You just give the customer a charger and they're off. Right, so let's have a look what's going on inside. Let's flip this baby over. Um, <clears throat> now I notice there is one screw missing. Uh, it's had a bit of rough use this machine, the chaps uh, builder. It was on a building site, so let's uh, let's take it apart and uh, see what happens. We've got this electrical screwdriver here. Um, I'd recommend uh, to all my viewers to watch the entire video. Sometimes. Um, you know, something could get missed if you are doing it and you'll, you'll break something and you think, oh, I wish I watched the whole thing. Um, I do that. I've seen the videos in the past with certain things I want to fix or whatever it is. And you think, oh, I wish I didn't skip that part. All right, so that screwdriver, it's not very good. I want a bit more, a bit more oomph here. So let's get this one. There you go. A lot quicker. This is a USB charging one I've got off, uh, off the internet. Pretty good. We've got powered um, drivers now at the top right. I think uh, the screws maybe a bit bigger. No, they're not. They're the same. I would recommend you make, make a template of where the screws go back in. Sometimes it can be longer uh, or shorter. Uh, and the best thing to do is just make a template and then you know where they go back in. I've got one of these magnetic pickup tools. Makes my job easier while we're filling out, fishing out uh, these little screws. Um, what we need to do now is pop off uh, this cover. Usually get my, just get a little card out. Um, pop it off. there um, so we can plug the, the charger in to the sockets no, no we can't because it looks like it's absolutely it's just it's not good let's have a look quick, quick look in there it's like a little bit of metal sticking out somewhere in the middle there but i think what we need to do is let's just let's just get um Get the, the motherboard out of the laptop, and I think we will just need to replace uh, the, the socket, which is just there. I have got a spare one, uh, a new one, sorry. I'll just keep a couple of these in stock. I don't know when they come in handy. So that looks like exactly the same thing. There you go. That will be like so. So that's good. Put that in the tray. I'll lose that. That is my last one, actually. Okay, let's remove uh, this this tape, which is uh, the coils. Let's remove the battery as well before we start doing anything on the machine. Just drain the power from the board as well. Lift it up, press the power button. Not drain everything from capacitors or whatever else. Hold a bit of charge. Okay, so let's get rid of the, uh, the Wi Fi card. I don't know whether this screwdriver is no good, or it's the bit that I'm using that's no good. Let's have a look, shall we? Let's get the bit out of that one, get that bit over there. It's not very quick, but you just 
quicker one. Make the video a bit shorter. Again, you've got arrows uh, for the screws. If you look carefully, you can just see where the arrows are. And that tells you where the screw goes back in. Can you see that there? Okay. If you want to use a separate tray for the motherboard screws, you can. So you don't get them mixed up um, with the others. We can do that, I'll do that just in case. So that's for the motherboard. Okay, pop off the Wi Fi coax cable, put the Wi Fi card out, pop it in there, and the phone cable. That's for the fan. That fan looks a bit grotty, so what we'll do is clean that up after at the end, and also uh, the, the heat sink. Messy there, doesn't it? So we'll get rid of that as well. Let's remove the keyboard connector. It should just pop off. Let's get rid of this battery. We don't need to really, but let's get it out of the way. Just in case we uh, break something. We've got more access to these cables then. Um, it saves us stretching them. Or damaging them in any way. Lift the doors. I've got plastic tweezers here. They're just a little bit better than, uh, not better, but when you're doing stuff like this, I think it's just safer to use these rather than metal ones sometimes. Sometimes you do need metal. There's a little SSD there. Let's move that. Three, five, six gig. Black screw, remember that. Carefully pull that out, pop it in there. Disconnect the speaker. As long as you can use your fingernails to remove what we're we looking at now. Okay, the LCD connector. Let's pop that off as well. Slowly pull that out. That way. And we have a screw somewhere. Let's get the memory out as well. See where there is any screw. Ah, want the hinge to be removed. Again, the hinges have got uh, little arrows um, of where the screws should go back in. Very tiny arrows. Just about to see those. Anyway, let's remove the hinge. Let's lift that up. Maybe not with a plastic screws up uh, tweezer but lift that up and this should just lift off now. We've got a flex underneath here. I don't know what that's for. So be very careful. There's a flex cable running across here. So th the motherboard will have to come out towards my left, lift up and then we can what am I missing here? There is something that's This flex out. Get this additional hard drive. Bracket off. Okay. So that's what's causing us problems. Let's just lift that up slightly. Get the bracket off properly. SATA connection, connection there as well. So that's all it was. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm taking this flex off. I don't want to damage that flex in any way. Now it does say on there, MB for motherboard. If you can see that, MB, there you go. Make sure 
sure that goes in the tray as well. Now, this to one side. Let's have a look what we've got here. Pretty straightforward. Um, it will, I will heat it up from this side and just pop it down. That's what I'm going to do. And that should be pretty straightforward job, actually. Looks, yeah, okay. So, let me get my heat tray out. No damage. Cover over here. over to my microscope now and uh, we'll show you how it's done right so um, got my microscope hooked up I'm gonna put some um, flux on here first of all a little bit of a low melt solder and um, that will help us soften up the original the original um, solder which is on the board a bit of that in there. I'll mix it up with the old factory solder and it'll be much easier for us to take out the socket. God, my stomach's rumbling. I think I need something to eat. I'll do this job and then we'll get on to a bit of lunch. A bit of fruit today. Oh, actually not fruit. Uh, just some, some nuts and that's it. That's my lunch today. Some in that corner as well. Put some flux in there. And I'd, honestly, I'd recommend when you're doing this sort of jo job, have no one disturbing you if you're doing it for the first time. Just focus on the job, forget about everything else. Probably light music in the background if you want, uh, but you don't have to. Um, to kind of calm the nerve down a bit. You need a bit of patience. You can't just open the laptop, oh, I'll fix it myself. The amount of repairs that we do that uh, people have attempted, we're repairing their repair and repairing the original repair. And uh, yeah, it can get a bit tricky, get a bit long. Sometimes I don't have time to post them videos because it's just way too long. Can't be asked to be editing sometimes. It takes too longer than the video itself. Um, Okay, so let me get some of these cables out of the way because I'm going to end up burning. I'm going to charge a cable from my phone. Right, okay, so that's that's done now. I'm going to get this charging cable out of the way. I don't want to end up destroying that. I don't know why I've got stuff. A bit messy today, but... Right, let's get rid of this um, socket. So I'm just going to take my... Hot air station, I put a bit of a bigger nib on the end. Uh, what I use is a Sugon station. You can have a look at the review. I've got one online. And uh, I'm also using one of these, one of these things. Solder sucker. Brilliant bit of kit. Absolutely love it. So let's see what uh, we can do with this little thing. Up the end of my desk, really, but uh, I'm doing it for purposes of video. As you can see, that solder is starting to get a little bit shiny and it's moving around. There you go, can you see that? Okay, we've got this little sucker. To be fair, the socket's moving already. I can just pop that off, you see. Knocked it off. We've got a nice clean break. And that's the benefits of using low melt solder. I don't know whether this, oh, it has got a hole, so let's get all that solder out. Nice clean hole there. Oops.
fantastic. Right, so, I'll just get my alcohol from the other room. desks, things going on everywhere, so let's just give this a bit of a clean up, a bit of cloth, on this side, doesn't need much, wonderful, right, where's the socket, okay, the new socket, goes in, Absolutely perfect fit. Okay, make sure that does go in properly. That should do. What I'm going to do, do this side first. I just want to um, touch a little bit of solder on the edge there. So we could do the other side afterwards. Some flux here on that side. A little bit of flux just there. Okay. And get my solder. I'm just pushing down on the socket at the same time, so we get a good. Um, just put a little bit. We don't need too much. There we go. Pushing again down this side as well. There should be some solder on my uh, iron. I need a bit more actually. Okay. I don't want to damage the plastic uh, around this socket so I'm just going to put a little bit see if I can squeeze a little bit in there okay so we are a little bit moving a little bit but I think Okay, let's do the other side. Okay, and as you can see, the solder on this side has already come through, which is what we want. That's gone through nicely. Brilliant. Let's do the other pins as well. The three amigos. Let's do these three. As you can see, that has now been sucked through as well on the other side. Fantastic. Brilliant job. Another one there, that's solid as well. Brilliant. Wonderful. Right, job done. Let's have a little bit of a clean up. My really expensive brush that I use to clean things up with. Um, whenever I want to use it, it's never there. Um, it's always floating around somewhere. Where have I put this brush? Anyway, doesn't matter. I we'll use uh, an even more expensive one. This one. Right, so uh, put some alcohol around. 
I'll just give a quick clean brush. Get rid of all the flux. Just give a quick wipe with a bit of a cloth. And there you go. That's uh, pretty good, isn't it? Give some clean, switch my soldering iron off. I don't want to waste power with that. Other side as well. And you can use a cotton bud if you wanted to. But I'm okay with just using. Dry that up quicker, just use a bit of a one of those. Right, shall we check now that this charger, this socket is doing the job. Let's pop that in there. Maintain voltage. Range correct. Find a negative source somewhere, and that should be what we're looking for. Where are we? Strange. That should be working, shouldn't it? Has the charger just decided to switch off and do a short on that board somewhere? Let's have a look. Right, so we've got 19 volts. Are we getting anything anywhere? Yes, we've got 19 volts. There you go. I have no idea why that charger was doing that. I switched it off. Maybe when we actually plug this in to the old socket. It put the, the, the charger in, it's got safety protection in there. Maybe there was a short somewhere. Um, no, there's not, so we're good. I think, I think we're okay. I think we are absolutely fine. Yep, good. This is the MOSFET there, we've got power, so we're good. Let's put this back together now. Let's get rid of the The motherboard. motherboard over here. Right, first thing we're going to do is put this flex uh, back in. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to clean out the uh, the fan, aren't I? That's what I want to do. So, there's the fan over here. I'm just going to quickly. Oh, I've got a, a, an air compressor as well. Brushing it out at the moment, that will do the trick. It's not, it's not that bad to be fair, it's a lot worse than this. You can't see this in the end of the bin, I don't want the dust to go everywhere. Let's get rid of the uh, heat sink as well, the dust on the heat sink. The machine's about a year old, so I don't need to change the change the uh, thermal paste, I'm not going to bother with that. Okay, so. Remember I said MB, that's MB there. Let's flip this over there. The protection tape.
this goes in this way, doesn't it? Yeah. Right, the rest is pretty straightforward. So what I want to do now, I just want to put a couple of things in and then I will show you if the repair has been done or not. So here's the SSD. Using my softer screw driver this time, I don't want to over tighten and break the socket, the bolts. Nipping stuff up does the job. Over, put the hinge back in its position. And also let's put in the LCD connector. The Wi-Fi antenna as well. Let's put that back in its place. someone come in last week with a 1500 pound Samsung machine and she was sleeping with her machine and it fell it ripped out ripped off the top half of the machine on one of the sides on the side where the um, on the side where the coax cable runs through and these these two wires pulled out of the connectors that was a mission of a job and then we had to I had to um, take them off a different machine the actual connectors and we managed to do it though it was, uh, it was good okay let's put the hinges back in to be tight while I'm here and do this over well, because they do loosen up every now and then. Let's put the memory in. Okay. Let's put the battery in as well. Should have a light, but I'm not sure. You don't 
indicator anywhere on this machine to say we are charging? Yes, there is. So if you look just there, I don't know if you can see that, but we have a red light there now. If I take this out, you can see. So I think we are good to go. Right. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.